go back to my channel and make sure we're recording again. And we're not yet. Blank screen, and I'm not running another lap until I know we're going again. There's a significant bit of the Las Vegas race that was cut. And hey, we're back. Cool. Three, two, one, let's go. 229 laps left of this shit. Welcome to part three of Texas. Might be what I call this when I upload it to YouTube, Texas. I've been trying to have like goofy titles, not anything that's like really funny, just something silly instead of saying like race number seven, Texas. Is that the Phoenix? Oh, it's funny. I thought it was clever. <laughs> it's probably not. I'm not a clever man. I'm like Forrest Gump. I'm not a smart man. Oh, we know there's uh, about 10 cars in the lead lap or so. Hey, we're one of them. <laughs> and it's like that because the game decided to fuck half the field. Myself included. How come I can't never take advantage of a scoring glitch? I'm always the one getting fucked. Fuck you, Casey Kane. I owe you one from fucking oh, Punk Hannah. <laughs> Why am I mad at him? It's not his fault that the game fucks you on old tires. It makes your car undrivable. Gotta say, I'm a fan of New Texas Motor Speedway. Once again, I really wish it was in this game. It's something, what they did to Texas was good because it sets it apart from Charlotte and Atlanta. Because everybody always says, oh, mile and a half cookie cutters. Because Charlotte, Texas, and Atlanta look alike. And Kansas, Chicago, Kentucky, and Vegas look alike. But Texas has a little thing going for itself now. So that's good. And that was a really interesting race. Probably the second or third best race of the year. I think Martinsville, I would say, is the best race of the year. May, actually, I think Daytona 500 might be still the best race of the year. Daytona 500, Martinsville, Texas, and Phoenix was pretty good. Fontana was meh, especially by Fontana standards. And Vegas was only good for the last 20 laps or whatever. Vegas didn't become... It's been like that for... 68, 69 years now of NASCAR Cup Series racing or whatever. Sometimes you're going to have stinkers. It's no big deal. It happens. It's just racing. Some days a guy's just going to show up with a badass car that's fucking unbeatable. It doesn't happen as often as it used to, guys. So it could be worse. You know, our lap times have gone to the fucking dogs. And then a caution will come out and trap us a lap down and put us right the fuck back where we were. So. Spotter hasn't mentioned the tires yet, so I'm hanging on for now. Come on, Spotter, bitch about the tires. I'm ready to pit. <laughs> Watch those tires. I think when it gets down to 15, is that one of the bitches? A lot of times I've just really fallen off. Wait a minute, gaggle of cars up here. We might actually catch Kozlowski. Or not. Because we're getting worse every fucking time. Watch those tires. All right, we're pitting this time. Okay, I didn't want to pit yet, but we had to. So, cue up a caution, game. Because everybody can go about 20 fucking laps longer than me.
Why is my pit stop so slow? <laughs> Seriously, what the fuck? Right, I'm get back on the racetrack. I see it's opening. I don't care who I slow up here. Oh, of course. What'd I tell you? <laughs> Gotta keep us a lap down, man. Wow, game. That was uncalled for. I have checked, by the way, if your car wrecks under caution because of the AI, the damage actually does not apply. It might actually look like your car's damaged, but your car's not damaged. This has been a weird fucking race, I swear to God. Since we just hit it, I'm staying out. Yep, we're back to being a lap down again in 20th place. This is ridiculous. It's going to keep doing this. We're not going to win this race because every time I get on the lead lap and there's a long fucking run, it's just going to throw a fucking caution and keep us a lap down. This is fucking stupid. It's not really fair. How come they haven't had to pit? Or did they pit and just not give me the fucking wave around like I'm supposed to get? Because I got a suspicion that's what's going on here. Am I racing for position? Not you, so please get the fuck out of the way. Suck. All clear. Car high. All clear. Okay, Dinger's first car lap down. Better throw a caution to get in his lap back and then fuck me over as Michael McDowell blocks me. Still there. I had the right mind of fucking driving there and wrecking to get a caution. Not, not that it would have helped me because I'm not the lucky dog card. Because I will not get a lucky dog today. I will not get a wave around today. I will be kept a lap down the entirety of the race to keep me from winning. Fuck you. You're a dick for that. Still there? Oh, we're first car lap down. All so that clear. means there won't be a caution. Not until after I have to pit again. Car high. Okay, Truex. Stay low. Still hit there. me one more fucking time, I swear to God. I will fucking retaliate. So I'm not very happy right now. Because I'm, like I told you, we're just right back to where we were. We're right back to 11th place where we were before that run. We did not gain a thing. Because the game wants to keep us a lap down. Fuck you, I'm driving past you. This happens again. I will make sure I win this race. I don't care who I have to wreck to get the cautions I need. I'll do it. Best lap ever. Best lap ever. <laughs> And it don't fucking matter because we're fucking a lap down and we gotta pass Logano again and get our lap back. See, it's just like Sunday. Logano's being given another race he doesn't fucking deserve. And I can guarantee it'll be just like Sunday because he ain't gonna win this one. Still there. All clear. All high. All right, we're in 11th. Uh, right clear. back to where we were before that previous run, so that's good. All that work for fucking nothing. To just be kept a lap down when we shouldn't be a lap down because we should have got the wave around when the lead lap cars pitted in that previous coffin. But doesn't apply. We're a lap down. It's getting really fucking old. It was either lose a lap sliding around on old tires or lose your lap by pitting and then throwing a caution. It's going to happen either way. So. This race should be fucking easy, because we were, we're really good here, and we were dominating the race, and then now the game is just literally making shit up to fuck me over. That's all it's doing. Well, we got the length of an Xfinity Series race left to uh, get this shit right and get back in the position we deserve to fucking be in, but more of the same.
We're going to run the next uh, 45 to 47 laps pit, and then a caution will come out and we'll be in 11th place again one lap down. Mark my words, I will win this race. <laughs> I don't care what I have to do to fuck this shit over and get what I want because I've been fucked over twice and it's not really making me happy. God, we still got a long fucking way to go. I'm ready for this to be over. I'm bored. They're pitting, so we're going to be back up to eight like we were. Oh no, we're not now. We're one spot back. So yeah, we lost everything. <laughs> We're going to win. And I can't wait to fucking laugh about it when I do. Is Austin Dillon the beneficiary of all this bullshit? More well, laps till we gotta pit about 40. Well, now 30 actually. My math is not so good as you can tell. Oh wait, we're gonna inherit the lead. Never mind. What the hell is going on in this race? <laughs> Alright, this time I might actually push it on this run. We got such a big lead. This is so confusing. <laughs> Way yet. That bums me out, man. <laughs> These fucking mile and a half track 500 mile races are long. And when you're getting fucked over, it feels even longer. Maybe there'll be a caution now in the next 30 laps so I can take advantage of bullshit. Looking forward to Talladega in a couple weeks. I'm really excited about getting to do that race and watch the real race there. I think we got Bristol, Richmond, and then Talladega. sounded like Kyle Busch earlier at Martinsville when I said all that work or fucking nothing. <laughs> I could get over Stenhouse knocking him out of the way to stay on the lead lap. That was great. It was hilarious, man. And it's only, it's funny because it happened to Kyle of all people. But like Stenhouse said, Kyle's a fucking dick, so the hell with him. Kyle's done worse, sir. 
Sometimes the stupid shit you do comes back to haunt you. And I hope he misses Homestead by one point. I hope when we get to fucking November, Kyle Busch misses Homestead by one point. And it's the point that Stenhouse fucked him out of at Martinsville. <laughs> that would be hilarious. I like looking in the cockpit view, but I can't drive with it like that. I wish I could. Car high. All clear. Suck ass in cockpit view. <laughs> I have no depth perception when it comes to this shit for some reason. Cockpit view. Yeah, that sucked. Thank <laughs> you. Ruined that old corner entry. I feel like. Trying to be a badass and drive it in that one. I don't know who's on what strategy and how we got to the lead, but whatever. I feel like Johnny Bravo, yeah, yeah, whatever. All clear. Car in is pity. Damn it. <laughs> Back hurts. I haven't listened to the Dale Jr. download this week. Even if you're not a Jr. fan, you should listen to the Dale Jr. download. It's good stuff. Clear high. Damn, best lap ever. It's good. Still there? Let's fuck all these guys. I'm gonna ride this out as long as I can. I'm gonna struggle on old tires. Uh, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy really did not want me to pass him. <laughs> he was like, fuck it. <laughs> Cost me probably three tenths there. Look how fucking low I had to go. I'm not fucking slowing down for you, buddy. I'm not. It's not how this works, bro. It's not how any of this works. Oops. Damn it, Harvick. God, they're being dicks up here, man. Harvick was drifting that whole fucking corner. I hear the tires squealing. I don't know if they were mine or his. Still there? You're all clear. Truex has been a dick to me all day. I'm surprised he didn't just come down there and hit me. Who's in second? Chase Elliott? Clear high. The guy with me all year. And Danica's fourth. <laughs> uh, they're on the winning strategy there. Uh, fucking turn, please. I wish I had a PS1. I'd like to play NASCAR 98. <laughs> I know that's weird. I guess I just need a PS2 for that. What the fuck am I thinking? I'm gonna get a PS2 and buy all the old NASCAR games again. Just so I can have them all. That'd be really cool. All clear. So, who would have thought when I was like eight years old and playing NASCAR Thunder 2003 that one day 
I'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna go back and play that. It's so nostalgic. That's cool. Probably suck at those games though. Whoa! They got super tight. I don't know what strategy these fuckers are on, I really don't. Alright, I'm riding this till the wheels fall off, fuck it. I don't have to short pit on this run. I never thought when I was a kid that one day I'd grow up and actually feel like doing a full length race. I thought that was always something my dad did. Because my dad used to do full length races. I remember when I was a kid, I thought you had to do full-length races in these games. So when I got my own NASCAR game and started playing, I'm like, oh, you can do short races? Wow, I didn't know that. Another thing, I think NASCAR Thunder 2003 was the first game where you could have 43 cars on the track at once. So it was, like, fucked up to me to be like, holy shit, you can have a full field of 43 because, like, NASCAR 98... You had 24 cars. NASCAR Heat, you had like 18. And I'm pretty sure Thunder was the first time you could have like a full field of 43. For these days, 40. Or according to Steve O'Donnell, 35. But we allow 40. Because <laughs> only 38 showed up to Martinsville. That's funny. What are they going to do when one day only like 30 cars show up? I think there was 42 for the Daytona 500 this year. Of course, only went 40 race. Wow. I don't think this car is going to turn anymore, guys. I feel like turning on a podcast. I might do that when I pit. I'll put my headphone in my other ear and listen to something. The sad sound of silence and this engine are killing me inside. But we are tearing through this race. I'm streaming at a weird time, but I just want to get it on YouTube. That's what most of anybody who's going to watch it will watch anyway. The only way to not get fucked over in this game is to be the leader. Hey, Sendrick tried to do to me what he did to Christopher Bell at Martinsville. Still there. Hey, Bubba Wallace, fucking 666, the satanic motherfucker. Driving a six car, finishing sixth place every fucking week. Win the championship that way, man. If he could finish sixth in every fucking race in the chase and then get lucky and win Homestead, he'd be champion. He's doing the Matt Kenseth, man. He's just racking up those good finishes. 
he's fourth in points right now. I could, he's the first guy to make me want to look at Xfinity Series points. I'm like, where the fuck is Bubba after finishing sixth every fucking week? <laughs> like, oh shit, he's right there, fourth in points. Fuck you, Blaney. I'm not cutting you any breaks. Since you don't know how to fucking cut me any. All clear. All clear. When he wants to be a dick, I'll be one back. When it damn sure won't be like current Bristol. It'll be Bristol before they put the concrete down. So it'll be half mile asphalt, 33, 34 degrees banking, whatever. And try to get a cup race. <laughs> because God, they need to build another short track. Nobody's built a good short track in like 800 fucking years. Which is silly because I think the reason they stopped doing that is because they want to have like a shit ton of seats in, but that was before people stopped giving a fuck about NASCAR. But look at Bristol, they got seats all the fucking way around. It's going to be sad whenever Bristol finally admits defeat and takes seats out. Because I'd be willing to bet that next Sunday that place might be half full. Definitely won't be full like the good old days. Make race tickets cheaper. <laughs> Maybe then people will fucking go. Night race at Bristol does better attendance, which is not surprising, but well that spring race at Bristol the last couple of years. It's been rough looking up in the stands. Take a tip from fucking Daytona. Paint the seats to look like fans. <laughs> All the seats are different colors. So it's like, look, there's people up there. I think they have like 15,000 people for the clash at Daytona and it's just the clash but still man that's not good I'm not I gave up on seat watching years ago but every now and then I do glance and go Ooh, sucks for them and then I hear about how Texas uh, tied a rain delayed race <laughs> For ratings and I'm like oh boy that's not good not good at all and damn it my fucking arm is itching like crazy it's my elbow <laughs> Elliott's up there, second place, getting held up by lap cars, so that might help me here as I stay out until a couple laps to go on fuel, stretching this as far as I can to try and avoid getting fucked over. I got R Truth's fucking music stuck in my head <laughs> for some reason. What's that? I'm gonna be really bummed when I get a string Batman or something again and get thrown off Twitch.
spotter ain't even bitched about the tires yet. Okay, I'm that's halfway mark now. We're halfway through the race. I'm not driving in as hard. I'm kind of taking it easy. I'm just going to ride. Not pit till I absolutely have to. Now I'm going to tire there. Right? <laughs> Although I think uh, a couple weeks ago I did a race at Bristol where I was really pushing the limits on how long you can go on tires. Like beyond when your spotter's like, watch them tires, buddy. <laughs> Lap times are falling off by a second. <laughs> Watch those tires. I know, I know. Fuck you, I'm not kidding just yet. Not just yet. Not yet by a long shot. you will ever see me stay out because you're really not able to stay out this long. <laughs> you should be able to, but you can't. Watch those tires. Shut up, spotter. Tell me to watch shit. Watch these nuts. Shut up. <laughs> Watch our tires. Chase Elliott's gained a lot on me. But it ain't really gonna matter. Cause I'll get on pit road faster than him and off pit road faster than him. Who knows whenever he has to pit. I have no idea when everybody's gonna pit. Alright, I reckon I'll pit next time. I don't want to fucking lose too much time running around out here. Slow as fuck. Oh, rest in peace, Charlie Murphy, by the way. Can't believe I didn't think of that earlier. Rest, rest in peace, buck nasty, Charlie Murphy. You were a habitual line stepper in your day. Slow down. Slow down. There we go. Got the pit road halfway decent. I don't think I'm going to listen to a podcast. I don't want to stress the internet because apparently we've had trouble lately with this. Now, well, four tires on full for the AA. Why are our pit stops getting slower and slower? We went from a 14-2 to a 15-7 to a 16-2 under green. I've been keeping track of that shit. Car high. Fuck you, Kyle. <laughs> Come away, Danica. You suck. All clear. You're like 50 on it. And we stayed on the lead lap, so fuck you, game. I think we stayed on the lead lap. Yeah, we did. I think one step ahead before this game throws a bullshit caution and fucks you over. Can't wait till we get to a race like Dover and, or Darlington or something like that. Where it's really hard to make up time. 
here I feel like I'm good enough to just fucking fly around this place. happy to not be stuck a lap down for fuck's sake, Jesus. Anybody watch Radioactive from Texas and see everybody complaining about the 55 car? And I think, wasn't Reed Sorensen in the 55? And oh, I can't remember. I don't even know who's in the fucking 55 car, but they're right. Park that piece of shit. Park Corey LaJoy while you're at it. Because <laughs> he's fucking horrible. Having a fantastic rookie season, Corey LaJoy. I hope he knows he looks like a total fucking knob on television every week for the whole world to see. coming up off the corner and letting you go by, I'm going to stay low and try to keep you behind me for no reason other than I want to be an asshole today. There goes my favorite asshole, Ryan Blaney. Chase Elliott pitted about, you know, 10 fucking laps after I did, so people can, even when I stretch it really far, people can still go way longer than me. It's fucking hilarious. Now, de now that I thought of that Who song, I want to go back to a Kiss show because used to Kiss would have that song play before they came on stage. They have My Generation and uh, Immigrant Song. 
Vandergriff song, of course, the Zeppelin song. Every time I hear any of those two songs, I'm like, man, I want to go back to a Kiss show. And then I see Steel Panther's going to be on the Kiss Cruise, and I'm like, fucking, why am I not going? Oh, yeah, because my life sucks. That's why. It's hard, man. I'm going to be sad. I know I'm going to be depressed. Could have tried to dive under True X. Oh my god, he's being such a dick to me this race, man. Alright. Keep being a dick. Still there? Clear high. Asshole. I don't think we'll get stuck a lap down anymore. I'm going to go too low down. Push Todd off the corner. Trying to get back to the lead. Hey, Kurt. Yeah, I know you were looking under Logano there, but I just thought I'd go ahead and take the lead if you don't mind. I did not come off the corner and try to hit Logano. My car actually did push up. That's two times this season I felt tire wear affect the AI. The other time was when we won Vegas, and I felt like when I passed Casey Kane, that was a pass I could not have made early in the race, and if I was going up against a guy on equal tires. I have no idea how this race is going to play out at the end, who's going to be where, and how it's all going to work. Ready for this race to be over with. Still there. James McMurray blocks me for no reason, other than to just be a dick. <laughs> 